So in this video, I'm going to talk about what nervous tissue is. And nervous tissue gets excited due to an electrical charge difference. And muscles are like that as well. And nervous tissue is specialized for communication by using chemical and electrical signals. And so now let's kind of look at what nervous tissue looks like. And so nervous tissue is made up of neurons, which are the same thing as nerve cells, as well as neuroglia, or glial cells. And so for now, I'm not going to go in really specific with talking about neurons, but in general, there are three types of neurons. You have your sensory neurons, your interneurons, and your motor neurons. And so there are also different names. Sometimes you, uh, sometimes people call sensory neurons afferent neurons. It's the same thing. And sometimes people call motor neurons efferent neurons. And so pretty much what sensory neurons do is they take the impulse and essentially they carry it to the central nervous system, which is your brain and your spinal cord. And then from there, interneurons essentially just connect sensory neurons to motor neurons, and obviously they're in the brain and spinal cord. And then finally, your motor neurons are neurons that send an impulse from the central nervous system to effector organs, for example, your muscles and other glands. And so pretty much we're just going to leave it at that for now. We'll do, go into more specific things in the future about neurons and in more depth. And so next, let's talk about another component of nervous tissue, which is glial cells. So as you can see in the diagram below, glial cells are those, essentially, those little dots that look a lot smaller than the main neuron. And so one important thing to remember is that they are not, unlike neurons, they don't conduct nerve impulses. And so the main purpose of glial cells, or neuroglia, is to protect and support the neurons. And there are a bunch of different types of glial cells, which we'll talk about in future videos, but what you need to remember is that they have a wide variety of functions, but all in all, they protect and support neurons. So they're pretty much like the neuron's assistant. And one thing I forgot to mention when it comes to neurons is that they detect stimuli, respond, and transmit information very quickly. And obviously this is seen if you put your hand, if you touch something hot, you feel it immediately, or what seems like immediately. And so the impulse travels really quickly for you to realize that you're touching something hot. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. It was just essentially an overview of nervous tissue. Um, I hope this video helped you. If it did, please give it a like and share it with your friends.